hello everyone welcome to solving solution your favorite channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems academically and on site um, today before we go into explaining the concept of bag bearing and um, other stuff i want to formally appreciate the effort of my lecturer so we all allow Sheba Soli Olaleko. Yeah, he's a lecturer at the Federal School of Surveying or Your in Nigeria. He was my lecturer when I was in school and he's still a very, very good man to me, even as I'm out of school now. And he's influential in so many things I know about surveying. So I felt it is very important to acknowledge him today. So now having said that, I would also want us to subscribe to the channel if you've not done that like this video comment ask your questions share your experiences and invite your friends to come and subscribe too thank you very much so on our previous video we try to explain or we have explained on our previous videos how to arrange your controls how to do your back competition which we did up to this point and then um, how to understand the concept of traversing because yeah that was where we started the concept of traversing so today we want to understand how you do your or how you get your back bearing because one thing about this competition is that when i was in school because most of the things i will share with you guys will be based on my experiences things i tested things that worked things that yielded results yeah that's what I will share with you. These are not um, theoretical or maybe some things I have not tested. Something I did. So one thing I understood when I was in school is that, you know, immediately you make a mistake on this point. Because basically this is where most of your work starts. If you get it up to this point and you still make a mistake at this point, I promise you, you will carry that same mistake to the end. So that's why I will have to take some time to explain the concept of what of back bearing. So from the question we are using, we've been able to establish that we have 22 to PT1, PT1 to PT2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to KG21, and then from KG21 to what? To KG22. This from KG21 to KG22, it will not always be like that. Sometimes you can have from KG21 to KG23. When you are from KG21 to KG23, your arrangement of controls here yeah, will change. But that will be affected in our subsequent videos where we'll have to use another question to solve that so for there not to be a form of confusion and stuff like that we are just going to continue but just know that you will not always meet kg 21 to kg 22 what i mean by this is that you will not always start and close on the same pair of controls this 22 is the 22 year and then this 21 was the orientation they used for this 22 so you might have maybe kg 25 KG23, as in this case, we have on our set of controls. So having said that, we want to do what? We want to start our forward competition. But before we start our forward competition, we need to do what? We need to understand the concept of back bearing. We need to understand the concept of back bearing. So how do we go about back bearing? You know, in mathematics, they used to teach us that if um, Boma moves from point A, to a point B at a bearing of let's say 30 degrees what will be the bearing of Boma from point A when she is at point B it is very simple this will be a bearing now how did we say this is a bearing because we just added 180 to what to 30 and a bearing from B to A will now be around 210. If, for instance, the bearing of a maker from a point A to a point C, where Nifemi is, the bearing from Nifemi to a maker will be 
as you got to this point, the bearing of Nifemi to a maker will now be the bearing which is this minus 180. Now, if for instance this bearing since is more than 180, let's say this bearing is 210. So a maker moves the bearing of 210 degrees to where Nifemi is. So the bearing of Nifemi from where Nifemi is to a maker will now be 210 minus what 180, which is around 30 degrees. I just had to use this as a basics for us to understand the concept of back bearing. You know, bearing has to do with a line, two points, the forward and the backward. So that's just it. So now let us now come to the question we have at hand. The question we have at hand here is that from 21 to 22, we have a bearing of 30 degrees, 35 minutes, 49.9 seconds, which is or which can be likened to this our first instance, 30 degrees. So what would be the bearing from this point to this point? The bearing from this point to this point was 30. What would now be the bearing from this point to this point? So this A to B is forward. A to B is what? Is forward. Whereas B to A is what? Is back. That's what we want to understand. From a maker to Nifemi, in this case was forward then from nifemi to a mecca in this case is what is backward so that's just the concept behind forward bearing and backward bearing their difference is just 180 that's what i want to explain with that so now when we come to this place we see that from kg21 to kg22 our forward bearing is what is 30 Therefore, the back bearing from KG22 to KG21, because normally when you want to carry out a traverse, the first observation you make is always what to a back side. So when you now set on this KG22, you will have to orient your what your instrument to KG21. So that orientation, the bearing you have for that orientation will now be what 30 degrees, 35 minutes. 49.9 seconds plus 180 so we have 30 degrees 35 minutes 49.9 seconds plus what plus 180 therefore the back bearing for this station is around 210 degrees 35 minutes 49.9 seconds I just believe this is very simple. If we wanted to use this 193, 193 is greater than 180. So if we want to have the back bearing from 193, it will simply be 193, the other minute and seconds minus what? Minus 180. So what we are trying to explain in this video is that for you to have your back bearing, your back bearing is just plus or minus 180 of your forward bearing or from your forward bearing. If your forward bearing is less than 180, you add 180 to get your back bearing. If your forward bearing is greater than 180, you subtract 180 to get your, your back bearing. But in this case, our forward bearing is 30. Therefore, our back bearing will be what? Will be 210. Now, I also want to make something clear here. Yeah. The reason why, on our previous video on the arranging of the controls, why we emphasize that we should have 22 here yeah, and we should have 21 here yeah, is because we are just going to use this bearing now. for us not to have any inconvenience using a bearing because I have met some of my colleagues who have had difficulties understanding which of the bearings they are going to use. Is it this one or this one? Or are they just going to bring this one here? Or are they going to add 180? Or are they going to subtract 180? So to avoid those ambiguity, to avoid all those challenges, that was why we resorted on our previous video to keep 22 here. 
So we know that as we are moving from 22, we are going back to 21 to orient our work. And then as we are moving from 22, which is this, back to 21, which will now give us our back bearing as what? As 210. So by the time we have our back bearing as 210, we will now write our observed angle. What was the observed angle on that particular station? The observed angle on that particular station is what? Is 2... 32 41 minutes 07 seconds that's the observed angle on that particular station so thank you very much for watching this video i hope the concept of bag bearing has been well explained i will encourage you to maybe rewind try to listen to it over and again to understand when you are going to add 180 when you are going to subtract 180 so that you don't mix it up and then also try to understand why we emphasize the 22 should be here because as i said on one of my videos that there are different methods to carry out a particular to solve a particular problem but on surveying solution we are going to give you the best and i also promised us that we are going to use a different scenario whereby the controls we are going to use will not be the same pair of controls again but that will be on our subsequent videos so thank you very much for having me on this particular video yes did i have you or you have me? we shall add ourselves so thank you very much for watching this video understanding what back bearing i'll see you in the next video where we are going to start our what our forward competition up to the last point and then we see how we measure our error distribute the error the allowable limits and all the rest of that so you don't want to miss anything if you've not subscribed subscribe to this channel like this video and invite your friends to do the same and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much